What's going on guys? It's Corey from Super Comic Guru 9000 and this is my review of Bleach chapter 495. This was all set up this week, but you know what? It was awesome set up. It was all set up for these huge battles that are getting ready to happen. The epic battles between the Shinigami of the Gotei 13 against the Stern Ritter of the Quincy. For the Shinigami! Ah oh, yes, for the Stern Ritter, we will destroy you, yeah? So, like I said, this week was just pure full on setup and it was all pretty much just action setup which is really damn awesome and there were so many frigging fights this week that I had to write down everything that happened it's ridiculous all right so the first battle that's going on is between Rose that old Visard and he's kind of getting revenge for Kira and he's fighting against this ridiculous character who has a hilarious name that I'm going to try and pronounce for you guys it is Nana Nana Jakup and uh, just a ridiculous name, and, and it fits his actual character design, which is just crazy. He's got this weird mask on, he's got this hair poking out all over the place. The next Stern Ritter Quincy we go to is F, and he is uh, this really, really weird looking Quincy. It's, it's got this mask on, and these like spikes coming out of its face and everything, and, and it's fighting against uh, this group of Shinigami and just destroying all of them. None of their attacks are working on it. And uh, all of them start to retreat, except for one of them, and he's like, You cowards, what the hell are you doing? And uh, then all of a sudden, Renji shows up, and he starts to fight against this character. Then after that, we go immediately to another Quincy, and this one is a female one by the name of Barbietta Basterbine. Yes, another hilarious name. And uh, she's using a whip against all of these Shinigami and just cutting them literally in half with it. And uh, all of a sudden, Komamura shows up, the huge, like, sort of wolf Shinigami. And, uh, you know, he's just a huge epic character, and I like that he's fighting against this really small uh, Quincy. Uh, after that, we immediately go to uh, Hisage, who is fighting against some just really big Quincy. This guy doesn't have a name, just some big fucker. And then uh, after that, we just get immediate setups, like all in one single panel. We get uh, Shunshui fighting against some old dude. You got uh, Soifan, she's going to be fighting against some weird-looking Sentai-looking Quincy. He has, like, a, a knight-looking face. And uh, you got Ukitaki, who's fighting against some weird mystery guy, and the same thing goes for Hitsugaya. So a good number of the captains and lieutenants uh, are all fighting against this huge groups of Quincy, uh, a lot of which who weren't even introduced in the last chapter, so this was just an immense amount of character overload, but the cool thing is they're all really interesting looking, and uh, these fights are just really, really epic, and a lot of uh, things are at stake here, because it seems like anybody can die at this point. Uh, the end of the chapter picked up a little bit more. We go back to the battle with Renji. Uh, he's fighting still against the F Quincy. And uh, eventually uh, he figures out that his attacks just are not working. And there's this weird thing is when he's fighting against this Quincy, there's these patterns that appear all over their body. And uh, maybe that's the way they're like deflecting all the techniques. But the chapter ends with Byakuya walking up, getting ready to just beat the crap out of these Quincy's. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to see what he's going to do. So there are two different ways, I think, to do setup chapters in these type of series. Uh, there's one you just do kind of like slow character development and everything, and then there's ones where you just do pure raw action. And that's what this one did. It was all set up, but at the same time, it just it moved really quick. The action was cool, even though it was very brief for each character. But it gives so much promise to, uh, to this battle, and it also just shows uh, the high stakes that are going on within Soul Society. You know, uh, in the manga and the anime version, we've seen threats to the place before, but this one is very, very serious because a lot of big Shinigami are going down and being killed. And uh, obviously the big thing about this chapter that I think I really, really loved was all the Quincy themselves. Uh, their designs are awesome. They're all very unique. Um, there's actually one guy uh, I didn't mention. Uh, at the end, uh, there's this luchador Quincy. I'm not even kidding. It's like a max, masked Mexican wrestler Quincy. And uh, he doesn't appear to have any weapon. He just uses his fists. And uh, I just thought that was really funny. It just goes to show that all of these characters are very varied in their designs. And I'm, I'm really digging it because it's really unique for the series. But at the same time, it fits in really, really well. Overall, uh, for a setup chapter, this one was awesome. It, it gets me really excited for all the battles that are getting ready to happen. Um, we didn't go back to Ichigo and Kuruji's fight. But, you know, I'm okay with that because there was just so much great stuff this week. And uh, it's just cool to see that everybody's going to get to fight again. And I love that Rose is going to fight again. And uh, I'm hoping to see him use his Visard abilities against the Quincy. I I'd like to see how, uh, you know, those abilities can be used against them. Overall, uh, i got to give this episode a good score. Uh, I'm going to give it a 9.5, nearly perfect. Uh, I'm not going to give it a perfect score uh, because it really didn't progress that much. It was just set up, but uh, it was really damn good set up, and, and that was great. 
And uh, all the artwork and everything of all the character designs and everything just looked really, really cool. i got to give credit to Kubo for that. All right, guys, it is time for the question of the week. And I want to ask you about all of the Gote 13 members. We know that Kira is now dead. Does that mean any of these other big characters are going to kick the bucket? Who do you think it's going to be? You can let me know with your comments below. Remember, guys, if you like this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. That concludes this review today, guys. Super Comic Guru 9000, out.